Hey everyone, Val here. And I'm starting out my video a little different today. I'm not in the kitchen. I woke up this morning and I decided I didn't want to eat breakfast in the kitchen. It was too cold. So I uh, fixed a bowl of cereal. I didn't even fix the eggs this morning. And I had uh, uh, gluten-free Cheerios with some uh, almond milk. Put it in a bowl. I carried it to the living room and I sat in my easy chair and I made me some hot tea. I still have my hot tea. <laughs> and uh, I drank that while I uh, put together my Bible study, the parables for next Tuesday. I had it half done, but I finished up my reading. And I just kind of sat covered, you know, with a blanket over me and, and reading and after I ate my breakfast first and doing my reading and making notes and just kind of doing nothing. And sometimes you just need to do nothing for the day. Um, I'm in my kitchen now. I've, uh, I'm starting my, my dinner. I'm going to put some chili in the slow cooker. So I'm going to be chopping up some garlic and some onions while I'm talking to you here. But uh, I did put a load of laundry in the wash because I, I needed to do a load of laundry. So I did put that in the wash before I sat down with my breakfast and, uh, and washed that. Then uh, when I finished, it was going on like 10.30. So I decided I was gonna walk because I really wanna focus on my walk-in and get more movement in. So I went to my treadmill. I turned on some Frasier and I watched some Frasier while I walked and I actually walked for 45 minutes and I got two miles in. So I'm extremely happy with doing two miles today. Um, it's increased my steps uh, because I haven't gotten over a mile and three quarters since I've uh, started walking back in January or started walking in January. Let me grab a bowl. Stick my onions and garlic in a bowl to get it out off my countertop here. Uh, or my cutting board, I should say. So once I get done, I got done walking my, my two miles, I jumped in the shower because it was too cold. I didn't want to get in the shower early this morning. I was lazy and I just, it was too cold. I don't even like getting out of bed. Is anybody else dealing with not wanting to get out of bed in the morning? I have to seriously set my alarm clock for 7 o'clock just to get up by like 7.15 or 7.30 because I just, it's cold and I don't want to even get out of bed. So I'm struggling with that right now. This is not a cooking video, but uh, I am cooking while I'm chatting with y'all. So I'm turning on my, my fire here to warm up my oil. I put a little cooking oil in there. And I'm trying to get my dishes done. Um, I wanted to uh, try to get my house cleaned a little bit. I did get it vacuumed and swept yesterday, but uh, I haven't mopped the floor yet and I still need to clean my bathroom. But I've spent the morning pretty much reading and stuff. I'm just going to get lazy. I can do it tomorrow. You know, it's not going to it's not going to be terrible if I go an extra day without cleaning my bathroom. I mean, nobody uses it but me. Steve has his own bathroom, and we don't have any guests coming. We were supposed to have guests this weekend, but they're not going to be able to come. So I'm not as pressured to get everything cleaned. It's not terribly dirty. It's just it hasn't been cleaned in a few days, so it needs to be cleaned. So I did jump in the shower after I finished washing. I've got my clothes hung up because I threw them in the dryer once I got done uh, my reading and they got done. I threw them in the dryer while I was walking. So I have got those dried. And I thought I would come in the kitchen and, and make some chili. I'm going to go ahead and make this chili. I think I've already done a video on it. You can search, you know, my, my videos and just write, you know, in the search bar, just put Valerie Reese chili. I think there's a, a chili recipe in there somewhere. I just I just basically saute my onions and my garlic on a, a medium 
temperature, throw my ground beef in. I always use Worcestershire when I cook ground beef and uh, put it in the slow cooker. I'm going to use homemade tomatoes as my base. And then for my pantry challenge, I pulled out a can of the kidney beans and I have a small can too. So I can make enough chili for a couple of days. I uh, also pulled the hamburger out of my freezer. I've been trying really hard to use up things in my pantry and my freezer because I want to uh, get it more organized. And actually, only so far, it's like the 17th, I think, when I'm recording this. I haven't been to the store but one time to pick up like milk and eggs and stuff like that. So I've spent less than $50 on food this month, which is totally amazing to me because I normally spend over $100 a week. But I'm, it's not that I'm buying, I don't think, unnecessary stuff, but instead of using what I have, I've been using what I buy every week and just leaving what I have. And now it's time to rotate out the foods I have in the freezer and uh, get the freezers organized right. So that's what I'm trying to do. I do need to go to the store. I'm out of yogurt. I do want yogurt, but I'm not going to buy any fruit. And I said that last week and I ended up buying the berries. But I have canned fruit. We canned peaches this year or last summer and we can and we had some canned peaches that Steve's brother canned and brought to us or gave to us when we were up there. So I think that's the fruits that we have. And we have applesauce. So I don't need to buy strawberries and blueberries. I can take peaches and pears and mix those into my yogurt and I can have my fruits that way. We, it's very low sugar that was put into the pears and peaches. So, I, and there's no sugar at all in the applesauce. I didn't put any sugar at all in the applesauce. So, I mean, it's, they're healthy enough where we don't have to, I don't have to really worry about that. So that's what I, I'm going to try to go the rest of the month with just the, the bare minimum. And I did pull out of the chest freezer. I think I've gotten most of the meat. I think there's still some like chicken wings and pizza bites or something in the stand-up freezer outside. I still have some fish in this freezer that we haven't used yet and, so, yet, and some um, like sausage and stuff. But I've cleared out and there's I think there is a couple more packages of chicken legs in there but I've cleared out most of the meats and stuff. So I've started pulling stuff out of the chest freezer which I'm really happy about so I can really start telling what I have. So I told Steve, because we have tomatoes that we have out of the garden that we froze in the stand-up freezer outside. I told him that we need to go ahead and can those into tomatoes, can the tomatoes, so that we can empty that freezer and then move the stuff out of the chest freezer into that freezer. So that's on our radar to get that done. And then I'm going to start the remodel. I told Steve what I need, why, what I, how I wanted the the pantry to look. So we're going to have to get that remodel started soon. I'm going to try to get that organized this weekend when Steve's home, so we can get the paint that I need out of the wherever he's got it stored. Because I know we have. What I'm going to do is the light gray paint as the walls and then use a, the dark gray paint which you know I talked to my sister because I was going to do white shelving but she said do the darker gray as the shelving because it, it won't show as much dirt the white tends to show more dirt which makes sense so that's what my plan is going to be so I want to get that started I want to empty out the pantry and then I'm going to rearrange how I have things stored in my cabinets and stuff. As far as, I do have some food items in some of the cabinets. The cabinet down here, I have some food items up here in these cabinets, cereals and stuff. I want to 
I want to redo that and get most of the food put into the pantry over here and get the pots out of the out of the pantry and put those more into the cabinets because I want to be able to go one place and get the items I need for fixing dinner or whatever. So I think that's a good plan. I'm browning my ground beef right now and I'm not really going to put any seasonings in it until I put it in the slow cooker because I use, I have this uh, taco seasoning up here and I have chili pepper, red pepper, cayenne pepper, chili powder, chili powder. So what I'm going to, I'm just going to use taco seasoning and chili powder are going to be my spices for my going into the slow cooker. Uh, Steve will add cayenne and stuff to his. I don't, I don't mind a little warm on mine, but I don't want it like as hot as Steve likes his chili. All right, it's pretty easy meal, and then I've got a few dishes that I need to finish up. Then once I get that done, I can relax. It is, and I'll get my lunch. It's like twelve fourteen, according to my my uh, portal over there. So I'll go ahead and get me some lunch, and then go back into my craft room. I know my mom is home today. My other two sisters. My sister Karen in Texas is going through some hard times with um, her house because her she had a gas leak in her house, and they had to repair the lines for that over Christmas time. It happened, so they couldn't get anybody out there. She was a couple weeks without gas, so she uh, had to try to make do with heating and uh, with electric heaters and then you know with cooking because she cooks with gas so she had to deal with that and then it got really cold <clears throat> so she went to stay with friends and and then she had uh, her faucet uh, I guess it, it froze and it busted so she is now dealing with having her water shut off so that she can have her pipe fixed up her faucet area fixed so she's not having a good time and she lost her husband in December too my brother-in-law passed away in December so uh, she's had challenges so just you know keep her in your prayers we uh, try to hang out when we can on the portal show her as much support as we can but uh, you know sometimes life gets gets tough and uh, things happen. Just got to get on through them, I reckon. All right, my ground beef is browned, and I'm going to drain the oil out of it because I don't want any oils in my chili. I've drained my ground beef and put it in my slow cooker. I've also drained my beans. I'm gonna put those in the slow cooker and I'm going to open up the little can too. I'm going to go ahead and, and do a, a large batch and just get rid of all these beans. This is all the beans that I had left, I think, in my pantry. So I'm going go to go ahead and use them. Let me get these beans into my strainer. I can now this is a tomatoes that we can we just take our tomatoes and we try to get all the seeds out of them I I can't remember if I put garlic in this or not uh, there may be a few garlic seeds in here but that's okay garlic is good for you we like garlic I'm just gonna pour the whole can of tomato sauce in there and if I need more I made some pints too so I have some quarts and pints that doesn't look bad I got this on low, so I'm just going to cook this on low all day. It's noon now. Like I said, it's going on 1230 now. So uh, I'll look at it later if I need to put more sauce in it, which I think I may. We like a hearty chili. I'm going to add my uh, chili powder. 
for taco seasoning. This is taco seasoning. Yeah, it's not coming out very fast, but I like to put quite a bit in there. Give it a lot of flavoring. But I don't like to put a whole lot of the chili powder in there. Just a couple dashes of that. Just give it a little kick. And I'll taste it later and see how it's tasting. I'm going to get this warming up on low. I actually think I have a small can of uh, tomatoes in here. I have a small can of, uh, or this is a 15 ounce can or whatever, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. <clears throat> that was in my pantry. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that instead of opening another quart or pint. And this is no synthetic colors or no artificial flavors. So I'm going to be looking more at labels in this coming year to make sure that what we're eating is as healthy as we can get it. Uh, 2% of salt, so it doesn't have much salt. It does have some onion powder and garlic powder in it. So I'm just gonna put the top on that and let this start simmering. And this is what we'll have for dinner. I'll probably fix some garlic bread with it. Maybe have a, a stick of garlic bread with it and a salad. We still have some lettuce. I do need to put lettuce and some salad stuff on the, on the list. To when we go shopping on Saturday, Sunday, after church, um, pick up some more lettuce and cucumbers and, you know, a few things like that. I don't need a whole lot. I still have carrots. I still have celery. I still have cauliflower. Uh, but, uh, you know, see what else I need and pick that up. So I'm going to get my lunch. I got tea, hot water for tea brewing. I'm going to warm up my tea and I'm going to head to the back and start doing some crafts with mom. My quilt is finished. It's Clifford. I think it turned out pretty good. What do y'all think? Now on to my next project. I don't know what it is yet, but I can, I'll figure it out. The chili's looking really good. It's 5.06 now, according to my portal here. So I'm going to make a salad, and uh, Steve's on his way home. I'm going to get ready for dinner. And I get the table set, unload the dishwasher, you know, just get a few things done. And uh, have dinner tonight. Thank you all for hanging out with me today and helping me cook. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. Don't forget to leave me a comment so I'll go check out your channel. And remember, it's all about the adventure. Have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.